Om Shanti, welcome back and now we are doing the recording of 23rd of September's Holy Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to remove all the waste of impurity. For whose betterment, for whose good, is for us. Spirituality says, as Supreme Father has said, or the infinite source or the infinite light or the infinite quantum field says that I am pure and if you want to be in complete purity and happiness and bliss and joy then think pure no matter what now we have a fluctuating mind sometimes we are thinking pure sometimes we get into the habit or old habits of thinking pure and that is where we realize that our mind is wavering we are not happy we are not feeling content we are not we are feeling a little bit of down you can say a little bit of battery down and that is the drainage which we feel so he wants us to keep on practicing this, keep on seeing only the good and practice so that we reach the level which is the highest level of self-purity. So let's see what does Godfather have to say over here. Supreme Father says, may you finish all waste of impurity. May you finish all waste of impurity and become completely clean. May you finish all waste of impurity and become completely clean like a holy swan. So the speciality of a holy swan Holy Swan, white in color, is constantly to pick up jewels of knowledge and to use its power of discernment to separate water from milk. It is a saying that a swan has the power to separate water from milk. That means what is more important, milk is more important. Similarly, in any situation at any given point of time with any person, either we can be thinking cribbing or we can be thinking kindness. We can be thinking evil about that person or situation or we can be thinking how to solve the situation so it's all about the attitude now the attitude is developed over a period of time once we keep on practicing something again and again and again for the better results so it's a practice and then the attitude develops and then the habit develops which is automated habit attitude takes time to develop because it's a constant practice so then God then says and use its power of discernment to separate water from milk that is to discern between wasteful and powerful. Let's say somebody comes and tells you something about your friend or something about your colleague or somebody something about anybody whom you know. You know that person has done something like this. Immediately you have the thought it's a waste thought, it's powerless thought, it's going to drain me out, I don't have time for thinking about other people or even thinking evil or good about other people. No, I don't need to waste my time, my energy, because see, energy is here, it's unlimited, but it gets limited when we think about anything impure. It becomes unlimited when we're thinking something pure, as simple as that. So it's like a light bulb, more voltage with pure thoughts, less voltage with impure thoughts. A holy swan means to be always clean. We generally think about cleanliness from outside, but we are talking about cleanliness from within. See, cleanliness is godliness. Some people have said that. Cleanliness not outside only. Cleanliness inside is cleanliness, is godliness, is next to God. And then automatically when you are clean here, automatically things outside become cleaner. Cleanliness means purity and not to be even slightly influenced by any dirt. Now, dirt is not literally dirt anything impure, anything negative thinking, impure thinking about anybody, nor even by any impurity or waste. Impurity or waste would be categorized as why did this thing ha not happen, why that person did not do this, who was supposed to be there and why is that person not there and when is that going to come, I've been waiting for such a long So you see, all these things are into waste and because of which we end up being angry or criticizing something. When we ask too many questions of why this, why not that, it leads to either blaming or complaining. Yes, it's important to ask questions when you're learning something in your school or college, right? It's not about you stop that. But I'm talking about questioning people, questioning things. There's a way of doing that. Well, this, this should be done by right now. Or this work was given to this person. Is it done? Instead of saying, why is it not done? Is it done? There's so many ways of avoiding that question because it then leads to irritation or frustration. And it even leads to a level of ego because you are the one who's questioning somebody. So it leads to a level of ego. So removing ego can be done in a very subtle manner by saying, is it done? 
So next God says cleanliness means purity and not even to be even slightly influenced by any dirt, not nor by even any impurity or waste. If there is any waste, you cannot be said to be completely clean. Questions are there, you cannot be clean. Why is this person acting this way? Why is he behaving this way? Why can't he talk like this? Why can't he behave like this? And these things are actually energy sappers or energy drainers, time wasters. So then God says, keep your intellect playing with jewels of knowledge. Instead of thinking about, about somebody and why in a situation, think about the jewels of knowledge. Pure thinking, pure thoughts. Change the thoughts at every moment and continue to churn knowledge. And there won't then be any waste. You see, I can even, I can think about something evil or I can think about, I can choose to think about something which is nice and kind and beautiful and, and jolly. That depends on me. It's an attitude. It needs to be developed over a period of time. This is known as picking up jewels of knowledge. So, yeah, one more thing it depends on. It depends on my self-esteem or my self-image. If I have a good, powerful, strong self-image about myself, irrespective of anything physical around me, yeah, by the way, it doesn't matter what how I look, how much money do I have, how good a house do I have, or how good a car do I have, or what kind of watch am I wearing, what kind of mobile phone I'm holding, irrespective of all that, if I have got a self-image, the true self-image, true self-value, then automatically, I don't have time to get into waste and nothing can affect me. Automatically. And I'll be more concerned about focusing on something pure and powerful because my self-image is so important and nobody's words are going to affect me. And how do you reach that level is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. If you're listening to this, then you you most probably have been sent a link on WhatsApp. My number is 89185207871. If you're listening to this on YouTube and if you want to join a one-day program of Knowing the self, we'll be covering knowing the self, how does the mind work and how to get away from fear and anxiety. This is going to be conducted on 1st of October 2022. And I've already mentioned to you my number. If you can repeat this video and go back to my number, that's my WhatsApp number. Do send me a message if you want to get the link for that meeting. It's a Zoom meeting, online meeting, can be done from anywhere in the world. With this, Om Shanti.